wasn't going to show my face today because I'm having a really exhausting day. Um, I'm having, um, if you've been watching, this is Possum Fun and Frugal Gretchen. If you've been watching my channel at all, and hopefully you have, you may have seen my videos where I mention that most of what I do is I find lots of life hacks, either coming up with my own or finding them on YouTube because I have chronic pain fibromyalgia. And some days like today, I am so exhausted for seemingly no reason, but for me, just getting myself together for the day to go out to an appointment, doing my chores, getting things together, just basic stuff is sometimes so exhausting. Uh, I'm always fighting pain, or in this case, now I'm trying to learn how to work with it and just go with the flow as much as I can. But some days, ah, uh, it's so hard to even just get up and do anything. So today I'm having one of those days. I went out to the doctors, got some good acupuncture, got my injections yesterday. So my pain is going down a little bit, which is wonderful. But the exhaustion, uh, it still likes to, and a lot of it is from the increase of pain causes a decrease in sleep. I have more trouble sleeping. Um, and then I, um, I start to feel better, so my body relaxes. And I, I finally realize how tired I am. <laughs> and I can't really sleep during the day too much, but I try to lay down and rest. I just did that for a couple hours. My dog, Cersei, knows when it's been too long, she starts bugging me. She knows something's not right, which is great. But anyway, so I thought I would show you a little um, hack that I saw on YouTube about making fries better in your whatever, in the oven or in the air fryer. Um, I'd heard this before, but I always kind of ignored it. Um, this one guy, and I can't remember who he was right now, brain fog. <laughs> um, so I thought I would share this little trick I'm doing with you. Um, I'm cheating on it a little bit. So he says to parboil your veggies before frying them, then you get a better... Um, crispier uh, fried whatever you're fry frying. In my case, it's sweet potatoes right now. I love those, and I love the way they come out already in the air fryer, but I thought I would try this and see if they're better. He also said to use more salt and oil. Um, not a ton of it, but um, we always think of trying to reduce our salt and fat intake when actually to fry these things it's better to use salt and fat which is supposed to be counterproductive with the air fryer because you're not supposed to have to use oil but I'm going to try this to see if the texture and flavor are better so again if you weren't already watching I'm Gretchen Possum Fun and Frugal and I am having a hard time getting videos out because I, I was in a lot of pain for a while. My um, pain increases when my injections wear off and it makes it harder to do everything. 
I'm in pain. I'm exhausted. I just sometimes don't have the energy. I've had a lot of family issues, situations. Um, I've been traveling off and on. Um, but I've just been way low energy lately and just haven't been in, haven't had the motivation to sit and do the, the uploading and editing and all of the things that gets a video out. So please bear with me and thank you if you have been patient. I'll be trying to get more out. I have to clear out my phone because I keep taking videos, clips, and then I don't put them together. So I'm starting to run out of storage. So I have to do something. So stay tuned and check out this little thing I'm doing. Okay. Kitchen's not the cleanest. <laughs> um, here's my air fryer. I guess I need a little more light on the subject. Move my bread out of the way. Um, and here's the fries. I usually just put them in like this, but I'm going to parboil them. i got to finish cutting this one up. But instead of putting them in a pan on the stove, I'm doing it in the microwave. So these are sort of parboiling in the microwave. Yeah, that's about just a little bit softer. Okay, so those have been in the microwave for two minutes, so that seemed to be enough. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take them out of the bowl. I'm gonna use the same water to save water. Because I'm frugal like that. <laughs> Okay, those are in and we'll give them two minutes. I have this wonderful oil. I already took the tag off, but a friend of mine, a dear friend, uh, and his partner, uh, they make this, their own olive oil. And he gifted us all a jar. Uh, about a month ago so I'm just now opening it and it's really good oil no oh, I didn't throw the tag away here it is this came on it it's manzanillo 2022 harvest it's unfiltered cold press and extra virgin yeah, very, very nice oil. Okay, I got them cut up and they're ready to go in the microwave. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, and these will go in the microwave. Those are parboiled and it really brings out the color, which is something they said in the video that I watched. Okay, I'm having trouble with my clip camera holding thing. Uh, so here's my sweet potatoes. We're going to add the oil. I'm still working with an old iPhone 7. And so I'm going to put more oil than I usually put in there. 
And then I toss that around. Uh-oh. Oh, five second rule. Then we're going to add some salt. My favorite seasoning for these, I like to use a lot of different ones, but I got this on sale because I'm frugal and I always look for these clearances. And it is Tabitha Brown. Apparently she's partnered with McCormick. And it's all-purpose seasoning. It's garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. It's really good with the sweet potatoes. So this video, I have to try to remember who he was. He said that the reason we like fast food french fries, fried foods better is because of they put so much, a lot more fats and um, salt and seasoning than we generally do at home. So, and they parboil their veggies first. So I'm going to put some turmeric because that's good for all my health issues. <laughs> About ready to refill my little Jar here. Oh, I'm so tired. You know, I could have, could not say anything, but I want to keep it real, people. Like, I'm trying to make this YouTube channel work, but not very many people seem interested. I'm sure it's, you know, a million things that I'm not doing right. I've watched all those videos about how to get subscribers and blah 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 and everybody says something different and I'm just doing the best I can so if you could help me out sorry about the shameless plugging but I've been at this for uh, over a year and I only have 307 subscribers okay so this is all seasoned um, all the oils and seasoning. We're going to put it in the air fryer. I have to open my window because I don't have enough ventilation and it gets very hot. So, and I have to ask Alexa, turn on the kitchen appliances. Now I'm going to set that for the full uh, 30 minutes and we'll come back when they're done okay so the sweet potatoes are out of the air fryer and I'm putting them in the bowl and I don't really think It doesn't seem to me like it made a whole lot of difference in the air fryer. Maybe it does in the oven. Yeah, we're going to try one and see. Okay. And now 
let's see if they taste any different. Okay. I'm not really <clears throat> using more oil and salt. That seems to help with flavor. But I don't think parboiling made them any different. They have the same crunch and tenderness. So, I guess it's mostly at least for the air fryer, just more salt and oil. So I'm not going to worry about the extra, using the extra electricity for parboiling if it's not really helpful. That's not frugal. So, for, from now on, I'll just add salt and oil a little more than I used to, like I did today, and put them right in the air fryer. I'll save the water and the electricity for something else. So that is sweet potatoes, sweet potato fries, and experimenting with a new concept from YouTube that was partially helpful, but not completely. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Some of them might be more interesting than this one. <laughs> Bye-bye.